for Sugar Gay Heat back at Barn 81 by the Oklahoma Training Track. Uh, Sugar, I got to ask you before we talk about some two year olds, you know, first captain, been a workhorse in your barn. I know Kathleen O is not coming back for the Saratoga meet. Will we see first captain at Saratoga? Jockey Club Gold Cup in Maryland like Gold Rock. Came out superb and good. He's been training good. He's going to work here this weekend. And, uh, wait for September the 3rd. Talking about two-year-olds, I know you have quite a few in the next couple days. Can you tell us a little about them? Yeah, I got a, a nice two-year-old colt in tomorrow in the first race named Capture the Flag. He's the second foal out of War Flag, who was a grade one winner. Uh, of course, I've liked him since I saw him as a yearling, uh, and he's trained that way too, so we're looking forward to that. He's going five and a half. It's probably not exactly what he wants to do, but I'm ready to run him. So uh, I think he's the kind that might spot him a little bit, but he's good enough to come and get him. And then on Sunday, I've got a City of Light, two-year-old filly out of America called Casual Eyes, along to Mr. Parrish. She won the English Oaks, and it's, it's one I like too. She drew the one post, which that won't help her, but uh, you know, I'm looking forward to running her also. In terms of Kathleen O, you are going to be working her up here, correct? No, Kathleen O is at Churchill Downs. I'll probably be bring her up here towards the end. And then, uh, you, I know you talked about pointing her to something at Aqueduct, possibly late in the fall. Does that change at all with the Belmont Aqueduct uh, no, 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 fall season? Race, this, the race I had in mind has always been at uh, Aqueduct to Conway. You know, it's just kind of Thanksgiving weekend. And, uh, but next week, I'd like to get one race in whether it be the Cotillion and Parks or, you know, the stake schedule just came out for Aqueduct, uh, Belmont and Aqueduct. So I'll look and see what kind of three-year-old Philly race I got there and take it from there. Well, I appreciate your time and good luck with the meet. All right, thank you. Here at Barn 37 with Jose Camejo. Jose, you've had a nice start to the Saratoga meet. Tell us a little bit of how it's going. Well, so far it's going good. Um, it was a good start. Um, we run two horses in the same race. We almost had the heat, and uh, it was a good race. It was super excited. Um, and then later on, we ride, we rose, we raced two more. Um, they run okay, so we got another another shot for Saturday. That hopefully, you know, we get to win. Talk to me a little about the claiming game up here. I know you're your claiming trainer, and, and there's been a lot of horses going in. I know you claimed one yesterday. Tell me a little about what it's like up here. Um, you know, bigger purses going in for that claim, and there's been some huge shakes. Well, it's 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 really hard to, to, to get a horse in here because um, I think it's one of the tracks that you got a lot of lot of claiming. It's a lot of people that are going to you know claiming horses. Um, it's different than any other track. Um, it's super excited, but it's hard to get one. So it's, so far, you know, we lost two, and you know later on we get two. Hopefully, we get a couple more and. We can continue to be here in New York and running in Belmont and Aqueduct and all around here. You had a black type winner down in Lone Star, high limit room. How'd the horse come out of the race and where's it pointed? He come out okay. Um, yeah, we got lucky to win, to get to win in there. Um, he come out of the race okay. Um, we might have to give a lot of time off. Um, we got to do some, some war on him. Um, but it's okay. So I think, you know, um, maybe we're going to have it for next year. Okay. That's what we got playing. So, but uh, we got lucky and we're blessed that we get to win that race. And so we still have. It. In terms of New York breads, you had him as New York bread. I know you talked about a yearling you have as a New York bread. We have the auction coming up, and you said you were going to focus on trying to stay in New York for the fall and possibly the winter. Tell me a little about the New York bread program and what we're trying to get into here. Well, I feel like for you as a new trainer and by night that you need to have a new job bread to compete and get into the, you know, the, and the system. And what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to see if I can get a, you know, more new job bread, you know, and trying to compete in the new job bread races. They compete open bread because I don't have too many comp uh, open bread and you know, trying to get a new job bread as many as I can. Um, that way I can, you know, be more, you know, competitive in races. And hopefully we can get a couple more. And now the sales coming, maybe we can get something. 
So it's you know it's depend how we, you know how we see and how we look. In terms of the size of your barn this year, you seem like you're growing a little bit here. Um, you have horses down in Monmouth. What's the plan for the whole summer? Are you going to continue to grow the barn? You're going to downsize as we get into the winter? Well, it depends. You know how everything you know work out. Um, we spend yeah we spend you know to be around here. Um, the, the the base is Louisiana. I got a lot of Louisiana bread and. You know that's that's home for me, and yeah, we plan to to stay right here, but we gotta see how's everything you know work out. Last then, last question for you. Um, coming into this, uh, the, the, as we get this meet and we see races getting more and more competitive and getting bigger fields, do you have any two year olds that you're really excited about? We got a few. Yeah, we got a uh, into Mitchett, and we got a Candy Wright. They, they look really really good, and we have a lot of hooks and we are a lot of height. So hopefully, you know, we're keeping sound and we can, you know, see the horse in the big races. Are those New York breads, any of them? No, no. they're Kentucky bread. Okay. All Kentucky bread. Well, good luck with the rest of the meet and we'll be back to you in a couple weeks. Thank you, appreciate it. Back here in the Chad Brown barn with his two farrier, farriers. Um, what's your name and what do you guys do? I'm uh, Mark Phillips. And this is my buddy, uh, Brian Duggan. And what's the name of the company? Sham, Shamrock Shoeing. How long have you guys been uh, shoeing horses? Um, I've been shoeing horses for almost 12 years. And Brian is on, what are you on, your sixth? Six. Six, six years. And before you guys did this, uh, you guys were both jockeys, correct? Both jockeys, yeah. Brian was a jump jockey and I was a flat jockey. <laughs> it was steeplechase, bit of steeplechase jockey over there. So tell us a little bit about the, the different types of shoes and, and what you guys do. I know you guys work pretty much exclusively with Brad, oh, Chad now. Uh, what, you, what type of shoes are you guys putting on and, and how do the shoes affect the horse when it's running? Um, well, the, the, there's a new rule now through HISA from the 1st of August that the horses in the front and the back have to have flush toes. We used to have a little bit of a toe grab for running on the dirt and a, a very small one then for on the grass, just like a 2 mil one. But um, from the 1st of August, they, the new rule is no more uh, grabs on anything. Flush toes on everything from August 1st on. So you guys are shoeing a horse right now. How often do the horses get new shoes? They get new shoes usually every 30 days, depending. Some horses don't uh, grow a lot of foot in 30 days, so we let them slide a little bit further into like four, five weeks maybe, you know? And then some horses grow really fast. It just depends on the horse. But usually it's uh, every 30 days. And then you guys have been working pretty much exclusively with the Chad Brown Bar now. It's just because there's so many horses and yeah, it's, it's so much work? a lot of work, man. 140 horses to try and keep with, keep up with every month, you know? And it's literally like like a conveyor belt. The, the last day of the month, we get through the last couple of horses. And then the first of next month, we just start from scratch and go through them all over again. Well, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you, sir.